Hi guys! In this video, I'll be showing you how I made the yarn wig that I used in my very recent elf repin video. I'll be showing you how you can prepare acrylic yarn and turn it into wefts, which you can use to make the wig, but you can also use the general wig making method for any type of doll hair. If you have yet to see my elf repaint, there will be a link in the info box and at the end of the video. The first thing we're gonna do is make a wig cap. I'll be working on this Monster Hydra Calora, but you can use any type of doll. To get a wig cap with a proper fit, we're firstly going to need to remove all the hair. I start by cutting away the most of the hair before removing the head from the body and pulling the rest out from the inside using a pair of pliers. It can be a little hard due to the shape of the head, but just squish it around as you need to and take your time. It can be hard to get out the plugs from the back of the head due to the shape, but you can also pick those out from the outside. And there we are, now we have a very nice and smooth surface to work on. There are many different ways of making wig caps, we're gonna do a very simple one in this video, using some stretchy fabric, some sort of glue and a rubber band. Firstly, take a piece of kitchen film and smooth this over the head of the doll. This is to protect the doll from glue. Next you wanna place the fabric over that and use the rubber band to hold it down. Try and smooth it out as much as possible. Since we left the factory paint on her head, we can easily see where the hair used to cover. Now you're going to take your glue and apply a coat all over this area. Once you've got an even coat everywhere, leave it to dry completely before adding another. I did this round one more time, so I ended up having three layers. Once the final layer is completely dry, you can remove it from the head. Then use a pair of scissors to trim away the excess. And there we are, that's a basic wig cap. Now if you guys don't want to use yarn and just use some other type of loose doll hair, you can skip the next few steps of preparing the yarn and go straight to making the webs. For my project I used this 100% acrylic white yarn. Decide what length you want the doll hair to be and then make strands that are twice that and cut a bunch of these. Next, you're gonna need something to tie the yarn to. You can use the handle of a paintbrush or something similar, but I like this tool because it has the rough handle, so it really holds onto the yarn nicely. Tie it on like so, and then get out any type of comb. The one I had is actually for hair dyeing, but it doesn't really matter. And then you start to comb out the yarn from the bottom going up. You will have a buildup of excess fluff on your comb, so I'll remove this once in a while and save it for other projects. Keep combing until you unravel the yarn all the way to the top. At this point you should have some very fluffy looking doll hair. You can leave it at this. Or, if you want it straight and smooth, you take a flat iron on the lowest setting and straighten it. To get the smoothest result, push the iron down firmly and pull the hair through in a nice smooth motion. And there we are. Now we have some nice shiny strands of doll hair. Then cut away the excess yarn that was knotted 
And that's our hair ready. Now we're going to use glue to make our hair into wefts. You can use any type of doll hair for this. You're going to need a smooth surface for this part. I'm using a sheet of glass, but you can also work on a plastic bag or tile. Place a strip of glue on your surface in the length you want your weft. Then take strands of your doll hair and spread it over the glue. Make sure it's an even layer. Then hold down the hair while you spread glue on top, making sure all the hairs get saturated. I like to use this silicone sculpt tool for this, just because it doesn't really stick afterwards. Once you're sure the entire line of hair is stuck together firmly, then you leave it to dry before peeling it off your surface. Then trim away the excess so you have a nice clean weft. How many wefts you'll need depends on what type of doll you're making a wig for. I made mine along the way, measuring how long I needed them to be. Now we're gonna start applying the hair to the wig cap. I wanted my wig to have both bangs and a middle part, so I made a line to show me where the part was gonna go. I stopped the part at the top of the head, leaving room for the bangs. We're gonna start the bangs by gluing on a strip of hair in the front of the wig cap at the very beginning. Then separate what part of this layer you want to be short, and then cut it to length. Then glue on another width of hair on top, working your way up the wig cap. Cut this new layer to match the previous one. And that's the bang sorted. Then we're gonna flip the doll over and start working on the back. Start gluing on width from the very bottom of the wig cap, working your way up. Once the base of the neck is covered, you want to flip it to the side and add a small strand to each side before the ears. Then you can add a long weft that goes all the way from the back of the neck and to the side of the head. Keep adding long strands of hair like this until we reach the point where we drew the line for the part. Then add shorter wefts on top of the head until you reach the part. Now we're going to form the part. Starting from the left side, you're going to glue on a weft that is pointed to the right, covering the part. Let it dry completely and then you can flip it back. Then you're going to do it the opposite way, gluing a width of hair going from the right to the left, letting it dry and then flipping it over. This gives you a natural looking part with no wig cap showing. Comb all the hair into place and then cover it with another sheet of kitchen film to keep it down. This is going to help to set it. Leave it to set like that until the bangs are no longer poofy, then remove the film and then give the wig the final trim. And there we go, that's a very basic wig done.
As I've said previously, you don't have to use yarn for this, you can use any type of doll hair for this method. I used this wig for my elf repaint, and this is the reason why I made it white, because I thought it was very appropriate. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Be sure to leave me a like if you did. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!